today we're going to be doing a landing page tutorial on MailChimp. So we're going to talk a little bit about what landing pages are and then we'll do a tutorial. If you don't need to know what it is, you just need to know how to do it. Then you can check the time and go straight there and skip the first part. But if you don't know, a landing page is the web page that you send people to to actually collect their emails. So you can like embed this onto your website in like a blog post, but today we're talking about landing pages. So like the link that you put in your Instagram profile to make it so that people can come and sign up for your email list. So this is super, super, super important because if you don't have it, then people can't sign up for your email list and it just makes life super easy. So we're going to talk about how to make them and specifically how to make it so that you can like attach a freebie with it. I found a really good hack recently that I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it just all those different things to make sure that you know how to do it so you can actually get people on your email list. If you need more help with email, I have a whole playlist where we talked about like how to get people on your email list, what your freebie should be, what to send your email list, like all those things. We talked about all the things, all the things in there. And if you have a question and you don't find any videos over there that are helpful, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. And that's linked below. And let's get started. First of all, log into MailChimp. If you haven't don't have an account, you'll need to sign up. It is free to start until you get, I think it's a thousand subscribers. And then we're gonna come up here to this pencil where it says create. And then I'm gonna come down until I see landing page. You're gonna give it a name. This one is actually for y'all. And it is so that's what's gonna come down here. You can have different audiences in MailChimp. So I have obviously a couple of different ones. And so this is gonna be for people who are starting a YouTube channel and want some help. So here's a couple of different options for like templates. I pretty much always pick this one and then occasionally I'll pick this one but this is my favorite mostly because it's just so simple and I hate having to go through and like replacing all the pictures and all of that kind of stuff. Up here you can put a logo or a picture so I will probably pick something. There we go. That looks YouTube-y, right? Sure. And then you can replace these. Now you can also come in and change the block. So you can add all these different things. I love to add videos to my landing pages, images, box text makes like this box around it makes it really um, kind of stand out, but you can do whatever you would like here. So I'm going to fast forward for a second while I type. All right. So once you have whatever you're going to write in here, then we're going to come down here and you can change your field. So I usually like first name, last name, and email. Um, I don't really feel like we need address or phone number. That's a little bit creepy and might make people not want to do it. I highly recommend replacing subscribe because frankly, no one actually wants to subscribe to your email list. They just want whatever they're getting from your email list. So I like to put something like, let's get started. You could do, um, I've seen one really good one for a freebie was where should I send this? Um, so something like that, where it's just a little bit more centered on the person. You can also change the color if you would like to in here. There's like all the different things you can change the color of the background. I like the blue, so I'm just going to, oh, oh, oh. That was weird. Okay, so then after that, you're gonna come down to send to. If you are making a landing page, I would really recommend that you have some sort of freebie that people can get for giving you their email. Otherwise, again, no one wants more emails, so like they're not gonna give you their email address just so that you can send them more emails. How I suggest you do that is either if you have a website, you can upload media. So you can see like, this is my website and I'm just over here under media, I do have a WordPress website and you can see I have <laughs> all the pictures, all the audio, <laughs> lots of stuff, but somewhere there's going to be a PDF and yeah, you can see here. So here's a PDF. This is the preview of my virtual music lessons ebook. And so I just, I can copy this URL I can copy that URL. And then I'm going to come down here to send to, and I'm going to put web address and stick it in there. The other option, especially if you don't have a website yet, is you can go in your Google Drive and same thing. You can just open something up, click share, make sure you change it to anyone with the link can either view or um, have it like force a copy. I'll show you how to do that too. And copy that. And then you can stick it in here. And so then as soon as they 
put their email in and click the button, it'll take them to their freebie. Now, if you have a Google Slides like activity or like lesson kind of like this where they need to be able to edit things here where they're typing or dragging things i think i need to make a couple more of those little pictures then i would force a copy so what that means is that you uh, copy the link and then at the end you delete this part that says either edit or view and you replace it with copy and what happens here, I'll even show you if it'll work, is when it, they click it, then it'll come to this page and it, you'll just click make a copy. So that way they will not be messing with your original version. Now, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm just going to have them go to a confirmation page and then I'm going to change this wording. The reason is because this is going to be an email sequence. So I'm going to send a couple of different emails and each day is going to have like a really specific thing that they're going to do. And it's going to be a lot of value, but they're not like printing something out. You can add a bunch of other stuff. You know, you can add like a background color. Should we add a background color? pretty plain today. You could write more. You can add things down here at the bottom. You can add your social follows. I would not act actually, I just said that, but I would not add your social follows because you want to make sure that people are enticed to click on the button. So you don't want to have too many clickable things. Um, and then you just click save and close and double check everything down here. What I suggest is for each of your landing pages if you have more than one that you put a tag on there so you know where people are coming from so you can see i have blogging i have my creating online resources webinar i'm getting started checklists and goals and um, people who came from the book and roadmap to a thousand dollars and all those different things and that just tells me who signed up where and it also helps me when I am sending things because when I send the emails and create the email sequence as soon as I'm done filming this then I am going to do an email to people who are tagged in YouTube. It also means that when you send an email you could send an email to just those people. Now you probably won't have one that says YouTube but yours could be something like um math centers so people who came from math centers can go in that bucket and if people came from one about classroom management then you can put them in that bucket and then you know that those people are more interested in that thing and then you can send them stuff specific to them you can create an email sequence that goes along with them all those good things then i'm going to come up here to publish and this is the magic link that you actually put places so this is the link that you want to copy and put in your instagram handle and put in the bottom of your videos and put in your blog post and all of those different things so that people can come and put their email in so if you are like how do people actually get on my email list this is how you create a landing page you take the this link and you put it somewhere and then they sign up. I hope this was helpful. I get this question a lot, so I wanted to address it. Um, I will leave a link to MailChimp down below. Again, you can get started on MailChimp for free, which is excellent because, you know, when we get started, you often don't have that much money. Hope this was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.